If you think you are seeing green, you are, because it's Brat Summer, and the green color of the Charlie XCX album, Brat, is overtaking the internet for those of you who don't already know. Memes are exploding all over TikTok, Instagram, and X, and young voters are rallying behind who many of them are calling the brat, Kamala Harris. Now, the term brat was coined by the artist Charlie XCX in her summer album, Brat, which encourages female empowerment, confidence, and trying to enjoy life as much as possible despite the struggles one might be facing or living in a troubled social and political climate. And on Sunday, after Joe Biden dropped out of the 2024 presidential race, Charlie XCX herself tweeted, Kamala is brat, so we have confirmation. And now this led to a firestorm of Kamala Harris brat videos and coconut tree memes just taking over social media, inspired by the speech Harris gave, saying, quote, you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? You exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. See what can be, what should be, unburdened by what has been. Harris HQ has even incorporated the brat meme into their own campaign strategy to get Kamala elected in November. They're posting and probably going to be posting the content that Kamala could never post on her own, but labeling them as this like separate entity of her. So it's not coming directly from her brand and her as a person is genius. She knows exactly what she's doing. Now, even t-shirts are being made. Brat's Kamala shirt is already on Fire Island. The gays move so fast, one posted. X-users are also sharing a photo of the character Coconut Head from the popular 2000s Nickelodeon show Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, which I've not seen, although I have seen some memes from it that I really do like. Others have photoshopped Kamala's face onto pop artist Chappelle Roan. Is that how I say that, Jess? Chapel, Chapel. Okay. And are calling her, uh, I can't even Kamala Nomenon. Kamala Nomenon. Wow. A plan words from the pop artist song Femina oh, Feminomena. Thank you. But some on the right are not taking well to this social media zeitgeist, <laughs> saying this country doesn't need a brat, it needs a parent. We don't need a brat in this moment, we need a parent. Okay, the border's open, inflation's through the roof, the price of gas is doubled. Brats did this, a brat attitude of like, I'll get to it when I get to it, we're just here living our truth. Okay, there's only the truth, as you know, and the truth is the country's a mess. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. This is a thing. It's wait, supposed wait. to be a sell that she's considered sort of incompetent. Boring, old, negative a thousand aura points, don't like it. No, that's my dear friend, uh, Jimmy Failure, and uh, I agree with him. Uh, look, we had this discussion of what brat is and what it means uh, yesterday. I also got some schooling in this from some of my uh, younger colleagues at a Reason Magazine. And there's been, so this has hit the whole understanding of brat and the cultural moment has now, like the wave has has crashed or crested or whatever, so that we all, we all have to discuss this for the next week or whatever. Um, the Free Press, uh, Barry Weiss's Free Press, had an article about this from my friend Kat Rosenfeld, who is a really good uh, processor of pop culture trends and what they mean for politics. So I'm just going to read what she wrote about it. She says, the best summary of Brat dumb might come from my free press colleague River Page, who quips, Brat Girl Summer is just women acting like gay guys. Um, uh, Charlie XCX describes the quintessential brat as just that girl who's a little messy and maybe says dumb things sometimes, who feels herself, but then also maybe has a breakdown and parties through it. It's honest, blunt, and volatile. Um, why would you want to associate a presidential candidate with this, with a steady diet of self-regard and cocaine in slime-colored clothing? Well, those people don't understand culture. That's not what Brat Summer is. This okay. is the right and right-leaning people coping with the girls, gays, and they's winning the culture war, quite, fr quite frankly. You have Fox News giving commentary on Brat Summer 
using brat language to make political points. We've already won. They look ridiculous and silly. This is the youth vote decidedly saying, we are on the left. And that's what this is. And they're going to cope with this however they may. It's and it's Harris very fun to watch everyone misunderstand what brat is about and try and make sense of it. I, I just, I, I don't... I don't think I'm misunderstanding what it is. I'm just questioning. It seems forced. Well, that is not what it is. It seems that forced to me to apply it to Kamala Harris. Women acting like gay guys, that is not descriptive of the brat I mean, movement whatsoever. The right. girls, gays, and theys have, have always been yeah, that's what you said. a cultural group. It's not girls acting like gays. Well, we all have, everybody has their own culture. It, it, the, the people you're talking about are often defining culture at the most elite levels, yes. It's not the most elite levels. Brat Summer is not, it has nothing to do with being elite. The album is able to stream for free. But what does it have to do with being left? Do we think Jeff Bezos is jamming out to Charlie XCX? No, Robbie. He might be, I don't know. White straight men run the country. Those are the oh, elites. Boy. The girls, gays, and theys are the elites. That's White what you're going straight with? straight men run the country. Oh, this is such a fun moment and a fun cope. So the Brat movement, yeah, you'll see like, about that these like green haze over the videos. And you'll see videos like the ones we showed of Kamala Harris. It's called a fan cam usually. And so it's got the, the Brat Summer music. We've also had Feminine Omenon, which is a music like theme about women having power. It comes from a, a Chapel Roan song. That's why uh, mm -hmm. Kamala Nominon is a thing. And it's about women empowerment and how we need a movement of women because we've lived in a society mostly run by men for a very long time and look how it's going, not but, so well. So that's what it's about, really. But what this sounds to me like is Hillary Clinton, girl boss feminism no, it's different. once again. No, because. But how is it different? Because Hillary Clinton herself is very cringe. Kamala is a, a woman of Kamala's culture. Kamala's not cringe. She has fun aunt energy. Hillary Clinton has annoying neighbor lady who calls the police. It's more Karen energy. It's very, very different and Hillary Clinton saying Pokemon go to the polls that wasn't even a thing I, before is, she said it and this is also people, management wants to it's HR organic. wants you to find the difference between these two photos they're the same photo it's yes. organic coming Hillary Clinton trying to cater to the youth is very different than the youth embracing Kamala Harris because it's about more than just Brad and just Chapel Roan, it's about, they I'm actually support her candidacy and her policies. There are people making videos with millions of views about stuff she did what are her as policies? attorney general. What are her views? What is she, what does she stand, I don't know what she stands for. She's proposed for. lowering taxes for the middle and working class, raising pay for teachers. She supports a public option for health care, at least she did in right. 2020 okay, when she was the Democratic attorney general. Things. And they were pushing for the overturning of Proposition 8. She was the first person to call and say, start the marriages now. When someone who was transgender, who was put in prison in California, she went and visited them in prison and made sure they had the care she they need personally. This is a woman who cares about people, and Gen Z has seen that while she's been painted as someone who's a figure of the establishment, she has the hope of I, embracing a progressive agenda. I would be very hesitant about casting her as some beloved Gen Z cultural icon in day three of her candidacy. I'm sure she does have fans among the cultural thought leaders, the group of people you're describing, that, that they're behind her is going to be no surprise because they're going to be behind any, the Democratic leader, period. But whether no, she we has a broader... Biden. Is her if if her numbers are better than Biden's among young people, we'll point. see. Well, her numbers overall. No, in the, in, among young, young people. people, yeah. Okay, we'll see. More rising right after this.